So let's have a look at the piano keyboard. Uh, hopefully you'll notice two things, white notes and black notes. The black notes are in a pattern all the way across the keyboard. So down here we start with twos and threes, twos, threes, twos, threes, twos, threes. Okay, and it's by doing that that we can find where we are on the keyboard. Now before we do that, we need to know what notes we can use. So the notes that we are going to use, the notes that everybody uses in music, um, are A, B, C, D, E, F and G. We don't go up to H, we start back again at A. Um, there are also sharps and flats, we'll come to those later in this lesson. So A, A to G. Um, the note that we're going to start with is C. It's a good way to find a good landmark to have a, a, on, around the keyboard. So we're going to find a C. So the first thing you do is you look for the two black notes. You identify a group of two black notes, not three, but two. There we are. There's, there's the ones we're going to use for this demonstration. And it's really easy. All you have to do is find the C, which is to the left of the two black notes, which is the white note. It's there. Okay. So look for the two black notes. It's just there. There's a C. So we're going to start looking for some more C's across the piano. Um, down here we've got a group of two black notes. The C is there. Here, group of two, C is there. We've already done this one. Here, C. There, C. And lastly, there, C. There's more, but they're out of shot. It's fine. Uh, so if you play all of those, you can hear that they sound similar, okay, but there's a difference in pitch. Um, now, we can find some more notes related to C because if we find out where we are there, we've got C there, we're going to anchor ourselves there. But if you think about the alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and we're going to go this way for that, A, B, C, D, E, bring it up the piano. This is up, this is down, just to establish that. Um, either side of C in the alphabet, we have B and we have D. Right, so either side of C on the keyboard. We also have B just before it. And then we've got our C, and then after C we've got D. Okay, so we've got B, C, and D. And it's not a great leap to be able to also bring A into that, because if you go backwards from C, B, just before B is A. So that gives us A, B, C, D. We can do that somewhere else along the keyboard, so if we find our C, C, B, A, C, D, A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D. So that's four of our notes. There's only seven, so we've got three left. Um, to find those three, we start with F. This is our second landmark. Okay, We've had C as one landmark. F is our second landmark. Uh, and you can probably already guess this, but we've had the two black notes, so this is by the three black notes, and F is just to the left of the three black notes, which is there. Okay, so we've got F, and either side of F, we have E just before it, and G just after it. So that gives us E, F, G. So we've already had, anchor ourselves on a C, move backwards to A, A, B, C, D, and then we've got E, F, G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Okay? So, those are the white notes. Okay? Now, um, we're going to go on and find out how the black notes are labelled, but before we do that, I need to explain to you the concept of tones and semitones. If you're in the USA, uh, you'll be more familiar with the concept of um, steps and half steps, that's what they tend to use over there, but um, because I'm in the UK, I'm going to say tones and semitones. Um, now, uh, a semitone is the, sh is the smallest difference on a piano keyboard um, between two notes. So for example, these two notes here are a semitone apart. You can't fit any notes in between those, right? There's no space. Uh, same with these two, or these ones here. A semitone apart. Okay, a tone is when you can fit one note in between. So these two notes here, for example, you can have one note in the middle there. Okay, same with these two here, you can fit one note in between. And in these ones, 
can fit one in between. So they're a tone apart, these notes. Okay. Um, so the black notes. Each black note is named after the two white notes that it's next to. Okay. Just think about that for a second. So each black note has got two names. All right. So for example, this one here. We know that C is here and D is here. Now this note is next to both of them. It's a semitone higher than C and it's also a semitone lower than D. So it's C sharp or D flat. Okay, C sharp or D flat. It's a semitone higher than C or a semitone lower than D. This one here is next to two notes. What are they? What are they? Well, we know that that's D and that's E. So it's either D sharp or E flat. This one here is next to two notes. What are they? Well, you know that this is F because of the three black notes there, F and G. So this one is either F sharp or G flat. This one is G sharp or A flat. And this one is A sharp or B flat. So there you go. You've got all the notes on the piano. So you've got C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, C again. So now you know your way around the piano.